Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 796. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 795 to 796, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here we have a table and we want to flip it on its side. So we really have one, two, three columns. So we want to end up with three rows and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, so we need eight columns. Now we're going to see a couple different ways to do this with a formula and also with pay special. Now, if you don't need the data linked, then we don't need to make a formula. So I'm simply going to show you do the pay special transpose. I'm going to highlight and control C for copy. Once the dancing ants are dancing around, in 2007 and 10, you click in the cell you want and you go up to the uh, home ribbon paste and in 2007 you have to click here. And there it is right there. In 2000, I think I still got the dancing ants. In 2010, you can simply um, go for the transpose button there. Actually, in 2010, you can control V, and then notice this right here, control V to open up the smart tag. I hit control and then T. You have to, you know, learn this that that's a T if you do this all the time. Still, one other way in 2000 and 10 only as you hit the right click key. The right click key is, in, is uh, on the right hand side in between control and window. So I hit right click and I can see right up here it's got a uh, T. I'm going to hit uh, T and then enter. So that was actually the right click T and enter. Okay, so those are pay special. That's a totally easy way to do it. But what if you need it linked? Well there is a transpose function and it's an array function. Now you have to count one, two, three columns, so that means I need three rows. One, two, three, five, I think that's eight rows, so that means I need eight columns. So you have to highlight this range and then in the active cell you have to type your transpose function. Highlight the array is just simply that array right there. Notice I don't have I'm not going to lock this with the F4 key, the array function um, is different than normal functions or formulas. Now, I've closed parentheses and in order to populate all this and transpose the table you have to hold control and shift together and then enter. It automatically populates the whole table and you can see it's B2 to D9 in every single one of those. That's an array function. You could see up here the curly brackets, those are automatically put in. One downside to the transpose is if, if you ever wanted to uh, like insert for some crazy reason, like you inserted a column here, I mean a row here, and you wanted to insert a column here and copy the formula over. Array, the array will not let you do that. So there are other ways to do this. Let's look at a second formula method. How about the index function? The index function is a lookup function. And we're going to need the whole array. But now, I'm going to hit F4. Now comma. What does the index function actually need? Well, we have the whole array. You, it index is doing going to do a two-way lookup. So it needs you need to tell what row and what column. Now, let's think about this. Here's this first cell. What row do I need? 1. But what about when I move the form copy the formula over here like this? In this next column, what do I need? I need the second row. When I'm over in the third column, I need the third row. So in the row argument, we need to have increment the numbers 1, 2, 3 as we move to the side. But when we go down to the next row, we need 1, 2, 3 again. The columns with an S function is perfect. Now I'm sitting in B15, so I'm going to type dollar sign B15 colon B15. Now what does this do? It's locking the column here but not here. This B is allowed to move because there's no dollar sign. So when it goes over one, it'll turn to C. Well, right now in this cell, what are, how many columns are between B and B? One. When this copies to the side, this will turn to a C. So how many columns are between B and C? Two. Now this is pretty cool. We're using the columns in the row, comma, well, the exact inverse of that uh, for the column number we want as we go down one, two, three, so we're going to use rows. Now rows, similar to columns, but it's going to count 
rows, not columns. So we're going to say B and then dollar sign 15. Notice the row reference, the number, is what we're locking this time. All right, and so that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Control Enter, and I'm going to copy it over to the side and down. So each one is giving us the the same results, but you can see uh, this one is a little bit trickier. Obviously, you'd want to use the transpose because uh, it's just so easy. I use transpose all the time. Uh, one other thing: what if you wanted to flip it upside down? Just so if you are watching this and have a question, well, you'd use index. And the array would be this. Now think about this. I'm going to go over to day and then to shift. So I want to lock only the numbers, not the columns. I want B's to turn to, to C's when I go when I copy it this way. Comma. And what do I want? All I need is a row number here. Because I did my relative cell references, I mean, there's a relative on the column locked on the two. Uh, 9 is similarly locked because I set this up as a mixed cell reference. I only have to put a row input. So here, oh, but wait a second. If I'm flipping it upside down, I need this one first, then this one. Well, I'm going to use the rows function. And I'm going to highlight this whole range right here. The only trick is, is that I want it to as I copy this down here, I want this blue range to expand. So it says B2 to B9. When I go down one row, I want it to say B3 to B9. So I'm going to lock the last one. And I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to say only the number reference. Right? This is not an expanding. Over here, we had an expanding range. Here, we have a contracting range. Close parentheses, Control Enter, drag it down drag it over. And let's see what I mean by contracting. I, we should have gone over here and looked uh, what I meant by expanding. Here you can see how it goes from B15 to uh, D15. So it's literally, as it's copied to the side, it's continually expanding. The range is getting bigger. The number of columns it can count are getting more, getting bigger. But here, look at this. Oh, B4 to B9. So it's, it's actually contracting. You could see that little green piece right there. It's contracting each time. That's a contracting range. All right, uh, that's a bunch about flipping uh, to the uh, side 90 degrees, upside down, and then lots of pay special stuff. All right, see you next trick.